Okay, this is Eric. It is Friday. As always, we wear red here at Low Via Rates every single Friday, every single opportunity we can. We try to support veterans, but Friday is special. We wear red as kind of an external example of how we feel inside, and that is we love our veterans, we support our veterans, we, we hope and pray that they're safe, and by wearing red, we remember everyone deployed. So join in with us, wear red every Friday, take a picture of yourself, hashtag Red Friday, tag Low Via Rates in there, and enter to win some free shirts, hats, and other swag items from Low Via Rates. Today we're going to talk about the Home Affordable Refinance Program, also known as HARP, Okay, not the sort of instrument that you sit here and play like this. I don't know if that's how you play a harp or not, but that's how I would play a harp. That is not what we're talking about. When we refer to the four letters H-A-R-P, harp, we're referring to a program that came out, I want to say 2009, if my memory re, uh, assures me correctly. What happened? Um, there's something that happened in our country sometime around 2007, 2008, there was a housing collapse. Okay, we talked about that and, and we will continue to talk about it from time to time in our videos. Great news for veterans. Most veterans were not as hurt by the housing collapse as people with non-VA loans. And that's one of the great benefits of a VA mortgage. That's not the point of the conversation today. The conversation today is let everyone know that has a VA mortgage, you cannot use the HARP program through the VA loan program. Okay, let me repeat that. We have veterans calling us up all the time. Hey, I got this letter in the mail about HARP. I wanted to find out if I could do my HARP loan. If you're a veteran with a VA loan, you cannot do a HARP refinance, okay? It is for conventional mortgages backed by Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac. But here's the great news, and I'm gonna actually talk a little bit about the HARP program because perhaps there are veterans watching that have conventional loans that could benefit from the HARP program. It's an amazing program. Furthermore, we know we have civilians that watch. I'm a civilian, I have a conventional loan. If I would have needed to use the HARP refinance, I would wanna know a little bit more about it. But first, why does somebody with a VA loan, number one, not qualify for HARP and not need HARP? Number one, you do not have a loan that is backed by one of the Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac GSEs. VA loans are backed by Ginnie Mae. It's another GSE, but it is for government loans like FHA, VA, and USDA. HARP is intended for conventional. Now veterans also, when the housing market collapsed and perhaps you lost a lot of value in your home, we're gonna talk about lost value, okay, or high LTVs. We're gonna talk about those because that's what HARP was invented to um, help with. The amazing thing about the VA Streamline Refinance, which we've talked many times about, there is no need for an appraisal and your home value does not matter. So if you were impacted by the housing collapse, the mortgage meltdown, and your home lost value, you could still take advantage of interest rates when they went down because there is no LTV restriction on VA loans, okay? Go refer to our videos that are all over the internet on YouTube, um, I'm sure we'll put some links down below after this uh, video goes uh, onto our Facebook page. You can, re you can refinance with a VA Streamline with no worry about lost housing value or high LTV. Let's now talk about veterans that have a conventional loan or civilians that are tuning in today and have heard about this HARP program. Okay, once again, here's the HARP, H-A-R-P. You've heard about it, you wanna know how you use it. This program was um, created, is a better word than invented. It was created for people that had lost value in their home or had very, very high LTVs. For example, let's just say you bought a home in 2004 uh, for $100,000, okay? You paid on it all the way up to about 2010 and you paid your balance all the way down, let's just say 96,000, you paid it down. But because of this housing collapse, housing prices just plummeted Let's say your home, when you bought it, was worth 100,000, okay? It was worth 100,000. You paid down to 96,000, but in 2009, your value dropped to 75,000. Now that seems like a huge hit. Over $25,000, or right around $25,000 in lost equity. 
there were places that were worse than that. We saw homeowners in states like Nevada and uh, Arizona, California, who they maybe bought a hundred thousand dollar home pre housing collapse. It dropped all the way down to the fifty thousand dollar mark. So. What happened after the housing collapse? The Fed started cutting interest rates. Interest rates fell. And so people wanted to refinance. People were losing their jobs during that great uh, recession, we call it, a little bit different than the Great Depression. And they wanted to take advantage of lower interest rates. But they couldn't because on a conventional loan, if you have an LTV, that's a loan to value ratio, if you owe more than your home's worth, you can't, you can't refinance. There were restrictions. Even more so, let's say you originally went in with 20% down on a home, so you didn't have to pay mortgage insurance, you lost all this value on your home, and now you're upside down, negative equity, and you went to refinance. Maybe you haven't lost all your equity, but you lost enough to where now you have to start paying mortgage insurance. The HARP program was put in place so that people that got their mortgage during a certain specified period of time Basically, that period of time are people that were most likely to be impacted in a negative way by the housing collapse and the mortgage meltdown, then if you had been making your mortgage payments on time, you could go in and you could refinance to current interest rates without any need to pay mortgage insurance or without any need to get a new appraisal done. Okay, I'm gonna keep it super simple today. We are not experts on the HARP loan here at low V rates. We do them. They're easy to do, but I'm gonna keep it very simple as opposed to going very deep like I do on VA loans. If you have a conventional mortgage and you would like to refinance, but you feel like you cannot because your home has lost all of its value, then call us up. Our number will show up on the video. It's down below. You can visit us online at low VA rates. You can visit us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We're very easy to get a hold of and we can go through your personal experience and let you know if you qualify for the HARP, which is the Home Affordable Refinance Program. Again, this is Eric. It's a great Friday. I hope you're wearing red. Are there any questions before we finish? Anybody asking questions about HARP today? I always like it when there's no questions because that must mean I'm either being very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Somebody help me here. I'm being very clear. I hope that's the reason, or hopefully, uh, if there are questions later, you can come back, you can type them in, and we will answer them going forward. So we'll see you guys next Friday, same time, at 1.30 Mountain Standard Time. If you're back on the East, then 3.30 your time. By the way, if you're not a sports fan, I will remind you, biggest, one of the biggest, I think it's the biggest sporting event in history, Conor McGregor from the UFC will take on Floyd Mayweather. If you don't have any questions about the heart program, maybe you can put in comments down below who you think is going to win that fight. I, for one, think Conor McGregor um, is going to lose, even though I'm a Conor McGregor fan. It's just Floyd Mayweather. He's way too good at the art of boxing, and my, or Floyd Mayweather's way too good at boxing, and McGregor's going to have a hard time. But that's just me. We'll see you next week.